Hey, it looks like England's going to be in the finals. That would be painful. Yeah. I'll <laughs> we'll, we'll never hear oh, the fucking end of it. <laughs> Uh, hey, wait, who, who's so Italy, the phone, to be honest. Yeah, Italy beat Spain today in penos. Beating Spain was, was good of them though. Yeah. Spain are very good. What's your mate's name? Um, Ramos, Sergio Ramos. Well, he, Spain, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he messaged me, he we actually got tickets. To the fight? He got tickets, yeah, and then uh, he messaged me today saying he's at the sign of the new club, he's not going to be able to make us. Uh, he had more time. He had the tickets and all. Who was he signing for? Signing for someone new? I don't know. I think you're breaking news. Yeah. <laughs> not That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that'll do me for sale. Yeah, you can take that hot one away and then just get a few towels for after this ice. Most pretty boys in the UFC history. Yeah. Yeah. Another, another record to notch to the belt. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Stack them up. What do you think of me? Uh, what's this called? Like a barber gown or something? Is it? Cape. Cape. What do you think of me? Uh, cape. Me barber cape. A lot of quality, that's it, you know what I mean? We put our time in. Same exact thing with the title sport. This, you know, I live on this stuff. I live on the whiskey hour camp. I live on this title sport in camp. We source the best land, the best area, the best the best setup, and it's just, it's blossomed. Somebody and they dress better than me. I didn't. I didn't know that, my brother. How you doing, my man? How's everything going, man? Pleasure to meet you, man. I'm just saying, you know, I pride myself in dressing pretty sharp, but you know, I'm covering the NBA Finals and I came here. They told me it was 110 degrees. I said, the hell with that. I don't need to get dressed up. I thought you was gonna be. I should have known. I should have known. That's my slip up. I'm excited, man. Nice to meet you, man. Pleasure to meet you as well. As we sit here right now, just days removed from your trilogy with Dustin Poirier, is it possible that no matter what you say, that you're sitting back knowing that everything's gonna be all right no matter what? That's the fire that people is questioning whether or not that's still there with Conor McGregor yeah. because of that. Yeah, well, What look, do you say to that? I mean, I'm coming in to kill this man. I'm coming in with, with vicious intent here, murder shots. So I'm gonna whip out all the weapons here and, I, and I'm aware of what, you know, that panic shot, the panic in his body. It's, I see it all written all over him. I saw it in the first fight when I sparked him. You know, I even saw it in the, in the second fight. I just was... But you didn't follow up. Why not? Because I... Here's another thing, because I was trying to get the rounds. I wanted to get rounds in, but then I realized I'm not paid by the fucking hour here. There's none of that going on this time. Trust me on that. I sent electric bolts through his entire body, from his head to his toes. You can see him rattled in the octagon in the first round and in the second round he was out on his feet. So he knows it as well as I know it, and that's, it's, it's, gonna be a, it's gonna be a butchering. Last question, win by KO, or just a win? Saturday night. KO, out on a stretcher, this man is going. Steven, good to meet you, my man, good stuff. Yeah, we worth a lot of money, that was, uh, that was with everyone's, me and the champ, champ junior. Uh, yeah. Here for work, here for business, you know what I mean? Vicious business. Fist clenched, ready to break a face. So the fight's here in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it's almost a home game for you then? Oh, it's brilliant. It's so good to be back here in Las Vegas. I'm honored to be back here and to perform for the fans and to boost this great city again. What are your expectations for yourself and your own performance in this main event? Let's go uh, orthodox. You know, I believe... Right fist down, so there you go, right there, hold that. As does everyone else, that my performance to win the second world title was the greatest, single greatest performance in UFC history. Hands raised slightly, yeah, right there, perfect. I'm gonna top that on Saturday night. Looks great. Beautiful. It feels great, man. Feeling ready to go. I'm feeling locked in. This is just the start for me. This is like the ticket to the plane to get up to the mountain, man. We haven't even started to climb yet. After this is where I go to build my legacy and the guy that has so much hype behind him. And if I, if I can get that done, I'm one step closer to that. I'm just ready to go out there and be hungry and, and show the world how I fight. 
I think the first round is going to be a tough round. The longer the fight goes, I think it tails in my favor. But we're going to have to wait the set of neck to see how that plays out. You know what I mean? It's Wednesday, two days before weigh-in. The mindset for training today is just to get a good sweat. Get a good sweat, get the blood flowing. Yeah, usually Wednesdays he's not near as explosive and doesn't have near as much power. He's kind of hurt from the weight cut already. But fuck, he wanted to keep working, but I just have to slow him down. Back up. He's ready to fucking go. I feel, I mean, I, I still feel pretty good. I just know how good I'm going to feel. Once I carb up and get, get those calories in my body, so I'm kind of comparing myself to how I'm going to feel. Yeah, it's, it's another fight. Just because not a lot of people know who he is doesn't mean it's going to be an easy fight. He has absolutely nothing to lose. He goes in there and loses to me. That's supposed to happen. He has nothing to lose. I just look at it as another fight, just another name, just another face to, to, to add to my collection of highlight reel knockouts. Uh, you know, today we just wanted to tax the gas tank, go through three rounds, output, be productive, use my brain, see what I'm doing, understand what I'm doing, so that in the fight it just comes naturally. Nothing but respect for the guy. Called him out because I wanted to hurt him, and I felt like he was the kind of guy that would uh, try to hurt me back. I think it's gonna be a gentleman's battle. I'm under the bright lights. I'm in the big stage, and it's time to perform. You know. Well, what's, what's different is that we're faster, we're stronger, we're better, we're more controlled, we have a lot more patience. He understands and he catches on. And whatever people think of him, that's fine. They can think whatever they want and we'll continue each time to send a message. Because it is a Conor McGregor fight, this is an opportunity for us to send a message to the world. And so, come all takers, you know, because we're outside.